hello 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 ladies and gentlemen hello ladies and gentlemen this is christelle martinet and i'm here live uh for a reading for capricorn it will probably show up in the um the um title later on after i finish the video i hope everyone is having a great beginning a new beginning to the year um i also would like to um, start by uh saying that as usual as customary i will um begin with the celestial occurrences what happens and we have on the 4th of january um a meteor shower quadrantides meteor shower what is that all about it's on the fourth and what occurs is the night of the third and the fourth of january um it will be brief but it generous there will be about nine generally on the average nine meteor showers meteors you'll see them uh per hour and the radiant which is the point in the sky that it seems they begin will be visible at 66 degrees above the northeastern uh horizon then we've got this wonderful uh it's probably something no one tells you about but it's the perihelion what is the perihelion the perihelion is the um uh, being close you know peri coming close helion to the sun and it's the point on the 5th of january it's the point at which um the earth is closest to the sun in the year 2020 so that's just a little bit of interesting news now the next thing that occurs is this conjunction conjunction between the moon and aldebaran and it happens after sunset on the 7th of January and they come close to only 2.3 degrees of one another in the uh, constellation of Taurus in the sky then we've got this lovely full moon business okay the penumbral lunar eclipse actually why is it called a penumbral because as you can see it is uh, even though it's a full moon it is there is the eclipse and it will look like there's a shadow of uh, on to one side and it will be the full moon in cancer and as we know the sign of cancer is one of the most sensitive signs and eclipses since it coincides with an eclipse are at the peak of the moon cycle and it heralds in a cycle of completion so we'll be uh looking you'll be seeing that you'll be feeling that that there'll be a phase that's going to be closing and um this brings secrets up to the uh four it um brings information that has been hidden from you feelings will run uh very very prominent and you will have your emotions running high so you'll be ready for that i mean we know that things happen like that from time to time here we are with cans with capricorn sorry i'm already screwing it up <laughs> with capricorn and um what i'll do this time um i'm going to use the gilded tarot by gustav klimt gustav klimt artwork and i'm going to lay the cards and with them lay the runes one rune for each card because i find that it may highlight the meaning of that card a little more and be clearer let's see okay and i'll show you these cards first all right let's see that like that okay there you are now i've got the four of coins the four of coins then i have the ace of wands the ace of wands then i've got the world card also the magician capricorn lucky you 
Look at all this stuff. The High Priestess. The High Priestess. And the Two of Swords. What is happening here? Well, we all know that. We all know. This is my interpretation. This Four of uh, Coins is the... Um, you like the phoenix coming up, resur resurging from your ashes. Now I'm going to put a rune for each card and the interpretation will flow from there. Let's see. Okay, interesting, interesting. This is, things are becoming interesting here. Things are becoming interesting. Eh. Okay, now. Look, um, we've got here um, a watts over the four of coins. And um, what does that tell us? The four of coins we said is the resurging from your ashes, emerging from your ashes. This A Watts is, represents in the rune talk a huge tree and it is an immense protection on the part of the universe uh, for you. It's a powerful ally. This need um, Capricorn to reinvent yourself is completely protected by uh, the universe. So bear that in mind. This Ace of Wands, this extremely um, phallic, I like to say, and a powerful Ace of Wands has Otela, Otel or Otala. And um, what does this tell us? Tell us this talks about this talks about our possessions. Um, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Capricorn friends. It talks about things that money can buy and it talks about you being consumed by a vision that you have, an action that you want to take now in these two week period. And you will, it's, your mind doesn't go off track one second during this period in terms of your goals and your vision. Then over this moon card, I've got the rune called Need. And what is that all about? It's all about having to, <laughs> it's a delay. It announces a delay. It is the um, world card and the world does talk even about travel. It does talk about completion of a cycle. And lo and behold, the rune tells us, okay, you need to have um patience you need patience and there are constraints and so this tells you that yes your vision will go forward yes it will be delayed but there are th certain things that occur that will make it delayed Th things that um occur that will uh stop your fast moving vehicle forward because there's a learning cycle there are certain things that you have to learn before you can go forward capricorn then I have here Ingvats, Ing or Ingvats in um, right over that a, that magician. And um, what's interesting about this is that it talks about success, successful conclusions, ladies and gentlemen, Capricorn friends. It talks about uh, the, the, how can I put it? Um, how can I put it? It talks about final, final sensation of relief. You feel finally, oh, things will be happening and you feel relief. It can signal, like I believe for you, Capricorn, a milestone, an actual milestone. This moment is going to be a milestone for you in your life, which is, you know, a big yay. However, knowing that there will be a delay. Now I have Lagas Lagus in conjunction with this high priestess, which is quite interesting. Um, and it talks, it's a double whammy because we know that the high priestess is all about knowledge of a higher domain, at a higher domain. And Lagos, Lagos, Lagos is also about intuitive knowledge. It's also about um, independence as well, interdependence, intuitive knowledge 
and knowing where your position is in the network and scheme of things. Um, what's interesting about this, there's a, there's a number of different things that are interesting here because it talks about success. Of course, it talks about success. And it talks about success in learning. So if there is a delay because of things that you have to learn, it does talk, it does point to you in, this, in the road of success, Capricorn. And I like it, and I do like the runes highlighting the the cards because they really clarify each card. Now I've got the Two of Swords, and on the Two of Swords, I've got the um, rune called Bjork or Berkana, and it talks about fertility, of course, and many of you may be um, finding out that you are pregnant, uh, ladies and gentlemen, or many, many may find that you are not pregnant you are seeking but then you uh, it's not the right time yet because remember there is that delay but it does talk about new beginnings and new beginnings however it's Merck's day that are being delayed so it's really clarifying because the two of swords is a decision card you're taking decisions now you would like to take decisions now however you're, you're set, you, you have this sensation of a sort of stop and go quality, but it is not. In effect, it is not, ladies and gentlemen, Capricorn friend, friends. It's the announcement of success. Good for you. Good for you. Now, I've got the, um, a different deck, which is an Italian oracle deck, and it's called the uh, Oracle of Destiny. And every now and then I like to use this deck with my clients. Um, I haven't used it on camera yet, but let's take a look at what they say. Okay, well, there we go. Hmm. Um, interesting, interesting. I have three cards here. One talks about Sorpresa, the surprise. There is a surprise. And we know that. Then it talks about guadagno. Guadagno is earnings, finance. And the last is prudenza, prudence, caution. Err on the side of caution, it means. It talks about surprise. The surprise nature in, involves finance and it involves it may involve having to spend too much it may involve knowing that you cannot spend that amount and knowing that you need to be cautious however there are um the, remember we saw that there was hidden messages coming up okay look in terms of a relationship i've got Fidanzamento, an engagement. This is the engagement card. Then I've got difficulta, difficulty. So if you have a partner or you've asked them to uh, jump to another level, that may be difficult in this time period. Again, it, it, we're talking about a delay. The last is casa. Also in terms of taking it to a next level, have the house, moving to a, your own place is requiring a delay ladies and gentlemen well i do hope this was of help to you ladies and gentlemen capricorn friends thank you for being uh, with me for this live broadcast those of you who were and if you like and, and um like and share my videos if you appreciate them and do subscribe i really appreciate that namaste ladies and gentlemen i will be back capricorn friends for other readings bye bye